you get one of these drones that seem like they're a good value. They show the picture that looks nice. It looks like you're going to have a great time, but sorry, you're not going to have a great time. I just want to thank you. Your loving kindness. Good job. You already made your first good choice by choosing to click on this video. I am going to save you from the heartache of making the wrong choice when you buy a drone. <laughs> Hopefully you haven't already bought some crappy drones, but if you're looking for that first drone that you want to be able to capture beautiful moments with your family or yourself or your pet or your vehicle, then you're going to want to make sure that you have a device that is able to do that, that is able to help you, not to frustrate you. And we're going to start this video by crushing a few dreams. If you think that you can go buy a drone for $50 on Amazon and get Results, I'm sorry, but that's not gonna work. You might as well take your phone, put it in your hand, and pretend your hand's a drone, and go capture everything like that, because you're gonna get much better footage out of your phone than you will out of a drone less than $200. You'll be looking at spending around three to 500 bucks for something decent. If you're, if you're not willing to spend that, then you're not gonna get good results. Let's go to the computer and do some shopping together. I'm gonna to show you what a drone will look like if you spend around $100 on it. And I'm gonna show you what drones you should buy. We're, we're, you got your own little personal drone shopper. I understand these drones and what they are, why they cost more, and I'm gonna be able to give all that knowledge to you. I'm gonna save you your time and money, and you just use my links for being a good guy and taking the time out of my day to educate you. Let's go to the computer and let's learn some stuff. Let's have some fun. Let's help you find the drone that is just the right drone for you. I'm a product tester for Amazon, so I get to test all sorts of things. I've gotten some of these cheap drones before and as like a toy to play with whatever, these things can be okay. But for video work, no, 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 no. Repeat after me. No, 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 no. So you can get something like these holy stone things or like this. This is the drone that has just like plagued the market. They show people like the military has this new drone, blah, 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 blah. And they literally show this like piece of crap. Yeah, see $90 for this. And you get one of these drones that seem like they're a good value. They show the picture that looks nice. It looks like you're going to have a great time, but sorry you're not going to have a great time with these drones. Well, if you no, don't care about video, you can have a good time. But if you want video, the stuff like this, like, look, it's, it's $29. And this drone I've seen specifically, like, we're like, this drone costs $1,500. The military uses it. And you literally get like a piece of garbage drone. And it's just, it's so bad. So please just don't listen to those things. Don't do it. I'm going to have the link in the description. We're going to look at some DJI drones because if you want a video, user-friendly interface, easy to use, good video that you can actually use, then you don't want to look at anything else. It's kind of like GoPros and everything else. You can get those cheap action cams and some of them might be okay, but none of them will compare to just like a GoPro or now the Osmo actions. You, you just can't compare them because they're in a whole different league. So you, you either want something that is usable and good that you're going to like, or just use your cell phone, but don't bother with the other stuff. Cause it's just, it's not worth it. You're not going to be happy and you're going to spend more after. So let's look at the DJI drones. And personally, I love FPV. If you don't know what FPV is, this whole channel is about FPV. Subscribe, look at some of the videos because FPV allows you to take manual control and fully fly and enjoy the flight experience. It's not about videography. These are more video drones. They're great for that, but they're fully like automatic, which is what's good for you as a new beginner, because you don't want to have a plane that you have to fly manually to get family videos because you'll just crash it. It won't be a good time. These are basically your options. 
these are all way too fancy. You don't need these. We're going to go to, what are the deals? What are the specials? So there's different ones. There's these really like fancy ones. And just so that you know, if the drone is over 250 grams, you can't fly it anywhere without a license. So forget those. Also, we're looking at the American site. There's more Americans that watch me than Canadians. The prices seem low. It's maybe because they're American. I'll have the American and Canadian site here. The airs. All these things are geared towards content creators, people doing it for work and everything. It's the minis that you're going to be looking at. The mini, the mini 4 Pro would be like the newest thing. It has obstacle avoidance and all this stuff, but you might not want to spend $1,800 to have the newest drone with all the bells and whistles. If you do, hey, click it, buy it, it'll help me. This is probably the best thing that you can get. If you just want a top of the line for fun person, not like professional, and you could do professional work with this. I know people that make a living shooting real estate and stuff with this, like not indoor real estate, but like they'll go and shoot the outside of buildings and you can do all that work with this and you don't even need this fancy remote because that's a big chunk of it too. See, so you could get it for basically around a thousand dollars. I would, I'd probably spend the extra hundred dollars for the fancy remote because it looks nice and it's much fancier. But this is basically top of the line. Let's look at bottom of the line or just everything in between because all these drones, there's, there's different options. If you wanted something really kind of like fun, easy, cheapest, cheapest thing to kind of get into, there's the Neo. And the cool thing with the Neo, this drone here is only $200. It's designed so that you don't even have to use or a radio and the radio is what you control your drone with you can just kind of go like this and it flies around you you tell it to do different things it can follow you it can do drone shots around you it can do all that kind of stuff and this is just great for let's say you're going through a hike through a beautiful field and you say here neo go follow me on my hike through the beautiful field or you're going to bike down the street and it's going to follow you and you want to get like some nice b-roll or shots like that this is a, a beautiful, just kind of tiny, like vlogger's best friend. Like you could just get some really cool video. The quality out of the camera, it's usable. It's not super amazing, but it is usable. If you wanted to get into other things, the nice thing with this is that you can get a radio that you would be able to fly it with. And you could also eventually eat the goggles and start doing FPV stuff with it as well. But this is just like the cheapest. Then here we have the Mini 2 SE. And all these minis, like the Mini 2, 3, probably the, the, you wouldn't want to get anything cheaper than the Neo. But if you want to start having more control over things, then you want to get maybe the Mini 2 SE, which is a cheaper version. It doesn't have all the features. It doesn't have the obstacle avoidance and stuff. But it's a good enough camera that you can get pretty decent video out of. Everything basically from the Mini like 2 all the way up to the newest ones. And just skip all these Airs and just stick to the Minis. There's a Mini 4, there's a Mini RC2, there's ones that have like extra batteries. But these drones fly for like 30 minutes anyway. So to get all the extra batteries and all that stuff, you don't really need it. You can save yourself the... Uh, $800 and just get it with a battery and there's all the different versions right and basically the difference is obstacle avoidance under newer models extra batteries and the fancy radio and the, the fancy radio has a screen where you can see everything and that is nice but you can also use your phone and that works too it's not as nice but it all depends on basically how much money you want to spend <clears throat> I needed to make this video just to show people what happens when they buy a cheap drone DJI is the best. You might not like the company, you might not like what they stand for, but they're the best. Just a fact, you don't have to like it. It's like maybe there's that guy that's muscular and he's a douchebag, but he's muscular. You know, he's the strongest guy. It's like you don't have to like it. It's a fact. DJI makes the best drones, period. Like, so why, for what you're trying to do, don't get something like this? This has terrible reviews, so you can tell, but uh, 1080 HD camera easy to fly waypoints and speed adjustments 26 minutes of flight time uh, 360 you push a button and it flips and stuff but the best is like oh yeah cool light 4k camera 
bottom camera, all this stuff. They show people like they're making like a music video on the on the case. Like it shows people like dancing like, hey, you could film a music video with this camera. And it flies so well. And this is why I tell people, just buy a mini. Look at this. That's music video quality right there, huh? <laughs> Wanted to get a full screen action for you. This is what you get to look forward to if you buy yourself a cheap video drone. Imagine, imagine making family videos that look like this. The floor is bloody lava. <laughs> yeah, that's a 4K camera for you. Or 1080 or whatever it said. Wait, I I thought we could see the bark on the wood. That was at least nice. <laughs> but just just don't do it. This is why I tell people just buy buy a mini, buy a used mini on marketplace if you must. But you know, just use my link, buy one of the minis, and then you'll you you won't regret it. The way you will like buying a piece of garbage because that's all these drones are they're just they're garbage <laughs> see that was me legit me <laughs> did you see the joy on my face <laughs> this is just like <laughs> this drone gets points for the amount of joy watching the playback has given me have you have you bought have you already done this? Have you bought yourself one of those cheap drones and experienced this? This is the most popular one. The DJI Mini 4K. This is the best seller. It's got over a 4.5 rating, over 4000 ratings. This would be the one that I'd suggest if you want to buy something new and be able to have some control. I will have the link for this one specifically in the description, but I'll also have a link to the DJI store so that you can kind of look through everything. The cheapest one worth getting would be the Neo or this, and I would highly suggest this one at $290. I think that's the best drone that you could get. And Amazon and all the reviewers agree. Lots of good ratings. I think that that would be the way to go. Otherwise, if you have the money and money is not a thing, get the newest Mini Pro, the Mini 4 Pro with all the bells and whistles, with the fancy controller, with the extra batteries, and be done with it. Buy the one drone and experience joy. Get the cheap one and don't be happy. Break your heart. If you just came here to learn about like the drone stuff, but you don't know about FPV, subscribe to the channel. Like if you're not subscribed, bloody subscribe anyways. I like to have fun. I like to, you know, be honest and help people and teach people, give people the kind of content that I would have wanted for myself if I was trying to learn these things.